most common isotope equals atomic mass from the periodic table rounded to the whole number. And that's all I did when I was getting the numbers off the periodic table. And then what is the difference between mass number and average atomic mass? So your mass number equals the mass of each specific isotope. Average atomic mass equals weighted average of, of all the isotopes. And that's what you see on the periodic table. All right, y'all with me so far? Yeah. We're almost done. Uh oh, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> Luckily, I was wearing a mask. <sighs> so, carbon 14. 14 is gonna be the mass, and for nuclear notation, it's going to go up as a superscript. And then the six and I need them to be overlapping there we go but that needs to be the idea, right? So the atomic numbers below and then the atomic is above. And then for the 56, we have 56. We have Fe twenty six. And this would really be more in the middle. Oops. There you go. Now it's kind of closer. And then the last one's a trick question, 13 protons and 15 neutrons. So 13 protons 
we find that on the periodic table. And 13 gets us to aluminum. So I guess I'll just do it on the aluminum. And then aluminum is going to have Uh, protons we put on the bottom. Anyway. So that's all to to the nuclear notation. And then if an element has eight protons and seven neutrons, and the other one has eight protons and eight neutrons, are these isotopes? are isotopes because they have the same number of protons, which means they are the, the same element. Different number of neutrons only changes the mass number. And then we'll go back to the whiteboard for the last one. All right, and then for the well, last one. All right, and all we do with this one, uh, let me take another color. We turn the percents into decimals, so 0.15 times 55 equals, and so I put it in my calculator, and I think I put for the this test for y'all to have the calculator on the canvas. Um, 8.25 and then we take the 0.85 times 56 and we get 47.6 and then we'll add them together and we get 55.85 AMU. All right. Um, for this, if you just hold it to the like de two decimal places, the hundreds, that's fine. I think we give you multiple choice. So I don't think it really comes up as an issue. Nobody wants to free grade right now. And then we'll do the same thing for B. So we get 0 0.95 times 14 equals 
13.3 and then we get 0 0.03 times 15 equals 0 0.45 And then we get 0 0.02 times 16 equals 0 0.32. And then what do we do when we get this far? Add them all up. And then you should get something like 14.07. And ta-da! Yay! Yay.